Today we're back with the question, is Brock Lesnar AEW confirmed? Part two. Uh, before we get into it, make sure you guys click on the link in the description below. Subscribe to the YouTube page. Click the link. It'll take you to our Instagram, our Twitter, our podcast page where you can rate, subscribe, review to the podcast. It'll also take you to our Pro Wrestling Tees store. And then click the little bell up in either whichever corner it is there to uh, subscribe to notifications so you know when we're coming at you with more videos. But the real question at hand is, is Brock Lesnar AEW confirmed? I mean, uh, I mean, we've discussed this in the first one. I don't think so, but we did have some big more to the story though. <clears throat> There's way more to the story because people from AEW at the highest levels have came out and commented on it now. Yeah. Before when we did the first video, it was all kind of speculation. We didn't know how they felt about it, part particularly Tony Khan. I think it was the first day. I think that was the day that it happened. Yeah, that was the day it came out that he was a free agent, that Brock was a free agent. Yep. Uh, but now, since we have did that video, Tony Khan, the president of AEW, has been asked about it, and Chris Jericho has commented on it. Now, let's get to the more important person who signs the paychecks, what he had to say. Uh, Tony Khan did a media call on Thursday before AEW All Out. And obviously the question about Brock Lesnar coming to his company was floated. Right. And Tony came out and said, I can't comment on that at this time, but I've enjoyed Brock's work for many years. He's a great fighter and a great wrestler. He was like, I don't think people talk about what a great worker Brock Lesnar is. He is one of the great working big men I've ever seen, one of the great athletes in the history of the wrestling business. I have so much respect for him. But yeah, I couldn't comment on that. So I find it very interesting that he didn't come out and just shoot it down. Yeah, I think that was pretty interesting because he could have very easily just said, nah. Exactly. And maybe he's just playing the game. Maybe he's trying to pump the money up for Brock. Uh, he did offer a lot of respectful comments. You know, he he could have poo-pooed the situation, but instead he, he was very respectful of Brock. And I think that's a smart business move from a business owner because you don't want to do anything or say anything that's going to shut the door on something like that. Yeah. Yeah. I, and who's to say he's not in some sort of talk? I mean – I'm sure Tony Khan's at least thrown the feelers out there. Yeah. He, as a businessman, you're going to. Uh, I don't think Brock goes anywhere other than UFC, like we said before, because I, I, I think this is leverage. This is him gaining so you leverage. Think he goes, do you think he goes back to UFC? Uh, I think we're going to see exactly what happened before. When he fought Mark Hunt, uh, he still was signed to WWE. Yeah. So I, I think we may see him fight again. I, I think a John Jones fight is probably on the horizon at some point, but I, I don't think that's going to mean him leaving WWE. I think he does both. Yeah. I think he stays with WWE and he takes a fight or two in UFC. I don't think we see him in AEW, but Tony Khan's playing the game. You know, he he's, he's, leaving that door open and he's smart because he knows that a Brock Lesnar appearance or match or program on AEW would bring eyes. Well, I'm going to read a quote that Les that uh, Lesnar or that Jericho talked about when he was asked about Lesnar. So he says, I don't know if Brock fits the whole AEW idea or attitude. That's a Tony Khan decision and a Brock decision. Do I think Brock does this every few years just to up his price with Vince? Of course he does. He's a genius when it comes to that. But hey, if he showed up in AEW, I'd be happy to go up against him and do the match we were supposed to do in April of 2018 in WWE that Vince changed. We've never had a match on TV or pay-per-view ever. If it came about, I'd be happy to go I'd be happy to go up and smack him in his fat face. <laughs> and you know, there was that story that came out a couple of years ago when 
Lesnar, I think it was at SummerSlam, hard weighed Randy Orton, you know, cracked him with that elbow and opened him up. And when Lesnar came back to Gorilla, the first person there in his face was Jericho and they got into a physical altercation and that just the balls on Jericho. Yeah. Like he doesn't care, man. He doesn't care. He he's got that fight in him. He doesn't care. And the fact that he challenged Lesnar over that, what he thought was something that should not have been done was that says a lot about Chris Jericho. Yeah. And I just, I, again, I don't think Brock will show up in AEW. Do you agree with Jericho about how he said his his uh, he doesn't have the attitude? Yeah, absolutely, I do. I do. Too. I don't think I don't think Brock fits. I I, I agree one hundred percent with that. I don't think he fits the whole attitude that they have. Yeah, he doesn't fit their room. culture, the yeah. culture of their locker room. It, he do, I don't think he fits it. Right. The the only and like I said, I don't think he's I don't think Brock's gonna be in AEW, but the only thing that makes me think was that last line where he said I'd be happy to go up and smack him in his fat face. That that's the cons that's the uh the pro wrestler, like I'm gonna poo-poo it, but at the same time, I'm gonna sell the sell the match right now. Yeah. Cause I mean that'd be a great that'd be a great match to have. I mean, it'd be great to see. Lesnar and Jericho have a match. Oh, it'd be a monster match. I'd be in for it. Yeah. So, again, I don't think it's going to happen, but I think there's – I think it's gone from 99.9% not happening to, like, 99.5%. <laughs> right, yeah. So I think we've gained just a little bit, but I still don't think it's happening. No, it's. It, I don't think it happens, but it's fun to see them at least – the AEW guys at least comment on it and give yeah. their thoughts. Do you guys want to see Brock in AEW? Um, do you think he fits that AEW mold uh, that fits in their locker room? Let us know in the comments below and uh, we'll be back at you with more videos soon.